And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can add stickers. So we've got the simple clip. And we want to add a sticker. I use the default layout and then I can find the stickers right here. There are lots to choose from. But they're all categorized right here. So if you've got something specific in mind, left click on it. We just search for inspiration. Try to use trending should be the first option. Currently Thanksgiving and Halloween stickers are trending. But what you can always use are these typical follow, subscribe, ring the bell buttons, like. And you can see when I left click, it's going to be applied to the preview window. And you can see what it looks like. Most of them have an animation inbuilt. Let us use this one. But just because it's in the preview window doesn't mean we have already applied it. To actually apply it, we need to drag it into our timeline right here. So that we have it as an element on a video channel. So it's not in our media folder or anything. We just have it here. And then we can treat it like footage. So we can make it longer or shorter by dragging it right here in the timeline. And now it's on top of the clip all the time. On the right hand side under stickers, we can scale it. And adjust the position, but we can also just left click drag or type that in numerically right here. Zero is center. Some of them have an inbuilt animation as I've said, but you can also add animations on top. Keep in mind that these animations don't override the ones that are inbuilt. So it already has this letter animation and I can now add a jump to it, a jump loop, a flip loop. And both animations are shown. In this case, I don't want to overdo it. So no loop here, but maybe we want to blend it in and blend it out. So let's use the bounce effect right here for in. And we'll also apply it to out, which is then a bounce out. And if I make this shorter, both animations are preserved. So here it bounced in and then it bounced out. And this is how you can add stickers to your clips using CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.